Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and uh, this time I'm with Cyanomats 9.1 for Galaxy Ace. And uh, yeah, I know I've done a, uh, I've taken a long time to review a ROM on the Ace, I was busy with the S3, but now I'm back, so let's get into it. Okay, uh, features, this is an awesome ROM, okay, it is based on uh, Science and Modern 9.1 so what you just saw is a trace the arc kind of lock screen which is pretty neat okay it comes with a ROM okay so uh, let's get into the settings and uh, show you guys what all are the things okay about phone you can see it is a 4 ICS based ROM uh, and well <laughs> Galaxy Ace so here it is Matt C64 it is the developer of the ROM so pretty neat. Uh, it is based on Cyanogen Mod 9 from these guys. So that's uh, kind of a stable release. It's not very buggy. It's really stable for the Ace. So that's pretty neat. Now uh, let's get into the features. Okay, what all the features? First of all, as you saw the lock screen, there is this um, trace. A lot of lock screens you can uh, customize it about. Okay, let's see the lock screen styles available. Uh, as you can see, uh, there are ICS lock screen, the normal, AOSP gingerbread lock screen, which is a slide, I guess, uh, rotary lock screen, uh, rotary revamp, ring lock screen, and the trace the arc lock screen, which you just saw, which is absolutely awesome. I really like that one a lot. Here it is. That's unlocked. <laughs> that's pretty neat. Uh, kind of different, so that's pretty good. We all want different light, and <laughs> who doesn't like a change? So uh, what else does this have? Uh, lock screen settings, a lot of them, uh, weather weather setting on the lock screen which is pretty cool. You can have weather, custom location, all of these, pretty neat, pretty standard I guess. Slider shortcut, well it doesn't have a slider so it's pretty uh, non-existent if you have the R, trace the arc lock screen. But if you want to have the ICS ring lock screen then you can go with that so that's pretty cool. Now uh, let's get into theme. Okay, this one, this one which it uses is a ICS a mixed style theme. It's pretty neat. It's pretty cool theme. You can see the uh, toggles and all are kind of unique. Uh, the icons are unique. The icons here too are pretty unique for its sense. So that's uh, pretty neat. Okay, uh, let's get it back to the settings and system settings, which are kind of science and more settings with a lot of extras well, I wouldn't say a lot of extras more extras okay power of menu the standard stuff you have you can select what all comes in this panel pretty neat stuff uh, the uh, BLN doesn't seem to work so that's something which I noticed myself okay so that's a uh, status bar uh, you can have as you can see it is center clock right now you if you don't want that BAM it's just gone that's really quick one show clock whatever Day of the week style, you can have that uh, customized. So battery status, you can you have all of these circle mod, um, circle with percentage, pretty cool, pretty neat. Battery life, I wouldn't say it's the best battery life, but still being science and mod, it's pretty okay. So you can have you can go uh, one day f from this, so that's pretty neat. Brightness control for sliding, which. For some reason, I don't, I can't seem to have it working. I don't know if that's a thing. Okay, display at the bottom. You can have this thing at the bottom. That's pretty neat. Again, uh, all of these settings. Status bar transparency. That's pretty neat. Uh, it's at full transparency now. As you can see, it is fully transparent. So uh, you can have it fully opaque or whatever you want. So that's pretty neat for that. Now notification drawer again. You can have power widgets, you can select the widgets you want in this, uh, brightness modes, everything like that. Uh, pretty standard stuff for a science in mode 9. Uh, what else? Haptic feedback, hide scroll bar, hide indicator, you can have that, you can do that thing. So that's pretty neat. Again, wallpaper, advanced settings. Here is where you can find the navigation bar settings. Okay, it does have a navigation option, so that's pretty neat. You have to reboot to show the navigation bar, so that's there. Uh, settings for that just unlock it and do whatever you want there and just reboot then it works date color uh, date style 
two line did style and single line you can have single line like this or two line wait the two line style like this so that's pretty neat uh, should expand the date if you want it uh, if you don't want it that's just ICS style <laughs> if you want JB style in an ICS ROM you can have that one too so AM PM style a normal small whatever you want I have selected a small one pretty neat pretty cool lot of stuff to customize uh, for a normal ROM that is okay fun size small I just like it small now what else mm, the others are just uh, normal settings for every phone it's pretty stable okay I didn't uh, have much of a problem with this but uh, it is Samsung Mode 9 in a phone which uh, whose latest update was a gingerbread so yeah it might have a few stability up, uh, problems but come on <laughs> you you want the latest OS to be functioning in a phone like this you have to have some kind of compromises so that's pretty neat uh, icons all in all it's a really stylish ROM it has a lot of features it is pretty stable for everyday use it does I wouldn't say uh, uh, that it is the most stable ROM or like that you need to go for gingerbread for that uh, pretty neat pretty stable ROM pretty good battery life I would say it's an okay battery life uh, camera kind of yeah it works it doesn't have a problem right now right it works no problems in that yeah I just took a photo so I guess that is it the BLN uh, obviously is has a problem um, so I guess that is it thanks